Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby. We're going to do a shorter craft today because I think you guys like it when I kind of mix up the video links. So here is one of my vases and it is holding some of my dried roses that you guys know that I love so much. So I want to give this vase a makeover and make it look just a little bit more special. This is one that I do not intend to put live or I guess cut flowers into. So water will not be entering this vase and that's very important for what I'm about to do because I am adding a lot of glitter. Look at this. I got it off Amazon. I will link it. It is like the shiniest, most beautiful, special glitter I've ever seen in my life. And the camera is not doing it even remotely justice, but it's like basically holographic and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna be using that with a ton of this and let's get going. First things first, let's remove the contents of the vase. It's hard to tell, but there's a bunch of little bits of dried plant left at the bottom, so I'm gonna empty that out. Next step, we're gonna pour in our glue. So basically, just take a huge amount of Elmer's glue, pour it in there, and start rolling it around until you coat as much of the vase as you possibly can. There will be little holes, and you can take care of those as needed. If there's little holes or gaps, go ahead and go in with a little brush and just kinda Cover it up a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be gluey. I'm gonna lay down some paper towels and just kind of demonstrate what might be coming out of there. Ooh, fair amount of it, wow. Oops, my board is getting all kinds of messed up. I should have just located a paper plate for this. I let my vase drip out over the sink because Elmer's is water soluble, so cleanup is nice and easy. After about two or three minutes, you should have a nice thin layer of glue all inside the vase. Go ahead, wipe the edges and turn it over. You do want to give it enough time to kind of drip into a much thinner layer, but not enough time to dry. Now we're going to move fairly quickly because since the glue is in a small layer and it's open to the air, it will dry relatively quickly and we want our glitter in there. Okay, so I'm going to take my full package of glitter. It's a brand new package. I'm so excited. I haven't even opened it yet. One second. I can't just dump it in without checking. Oh my gosh, it's magic. It's magic. The camera does not do this justice. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I want this everywhere. It's probably going to go everywhere. I'm so excited. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm going to dump the whole thing in there. Wow, look at that. I'm so excited. You can see the shadow of it a little bit down there. It's so finely milled, like it still looks full. I did accidentally tap the edge there, but I think it'll be all right. I'm going to seal this with some cling wrap. And a rubber band for good measure. Because we don't want this glitter going anywhere but in the jar. Now we're going to shake it up and coat the entire inside of the jar with this beautiful glitter down here. Can you see it in there? Oh my goodness, amazing. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. We have to wait for the glue to go translucent to see the final effects, but I'm really, really quite excited for it. Look at this stunningness. It's beautiful. Wow. So pretty. Make sure you coat all of it. Absolutely all of it. You gotta kind of peek inside and make sure you get it all. You want lots of glitter to make sure that every little nook and cranny is covered. Go inside, we're just gonna let that sit and let that dry. Okay, obviously it's still drying, but I really wish it wasn't such an overcast day because you guys cannot see the glittery amazingness that this is. Honestly, like there's not enough light in here. I don't have enough artificial light. There's no sunlight out. This is incredible and I feel bad because you guys are missing out, but do it in real life because it's so cool. All right, you guys, it is all done. I let it dry for two days and then I dumped the glitter out into a Ziploc bag, which unfortunately was a little bit more mushy and saturated with glue than I thought it would be. So unless I find something to do with this pretty quickly, this is a waste, which super hurts my heart because it's glitter, but this is gorgeous and I wish it wasn't overcast all week so that I could just show you the brilliance and like the holographic sparkle of this. So I have a little light on it and you can just see as I spin it. Oh my goodness, look at that rainbow effect. I'm gonna move the light so you can kind of see like what it does. I really wish it wasn't so dark in here cause it's just 
magical inside like not all of the glitter came out it's still a little goopy in there um, it's basically dry but there's still some white spots I did let it dry kind of open for about 48 hours before this video um, but it's not fully dry yet but you get the idea so because it's Elmer's glue in there and that is water soluble you can't actually put water in here but it's just like a little statement vase and I love it and I hope you do too and thanks so much for joining me on this one bye for now